the Black Dahlia murder case. It's 1947, not a hell of a lot's going on in L.A. The city then, you get about 25, 28 murders a year. Mom kills Pop, Pop kills Mom, Mom overcooks the steak, Pop's had enough. He wants to limit his options down to the, the gas chamber or life imprisonment. And, uh, and it's all over. But Elizabeth Short, the guy picks her up, tortures her from two days, taunts the press, taunts the LAPD with letters to the LA Herald Express, and then never fucking does it again. And just goes away. That's and, a, yeah. That's one of the most astonishing things is that it yeah. never never happened again. Yeah. Maybe he died, maybe mm -hmm. he went to prison. So I became yeah. a writer. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Beautiful young woman comes out to LA to be a movie star, like 16,000 or 16 million others at the time. And if you can believe this, a single sex killing in its front page news for 10 weeks. Dow you this, dow you that. Hunt clues in werewolf's slaying den. Those, that was a newspaper headline from the Herald in that era. Werewolf slaying den. That was, the, that was Hearst reporting. That's Hearst reporting, <laughs> yeah. Larry Harnish, Brian, Brian knows him, and, and Rick knows him as well. He's a, he's a writer for the LA Times. Has spent probably twenty, twenty-five thousand dollars of his own money researching it. He's come up with the most plausible explanation that I've ever heard. Oh, absolutely! And uh, the way he lays it out, and uh, that background he lays on his investigation, it's very plausible. And I think. Uh, like you said, the most plausible theory that I've heard so yeah. far and read about. Yeah. Yeah. Did he go so far as to name somebody? Yeah. Yeah, he yeah, he yeah. yeah well, he certainly. And, and it's time to segue to the Black Dahlia. Okay. All right. Now, okay. now dig this. The most famous body dump. Of the it's, yeah, it's, the, it it's the king of the body dumps. It you know, the regretfully, it's an LAPD case, at least for the as far as the sheriffs are concerned. Yeah. Yeah. That's why it's unsolved. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. And of course, Larry Harnish over here, my 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 dear friend and esteemed colleague and Black Daddy obsessive Dude. has come up with what I think is the only plausible explanation as to what happened to the raven-haired seductress Elizabeth Short in Los Angeles roughly 54 years ago today. Wow. She was missing today. She was, this was, was the last week. There was a last, last week. She was ah. dropped off at the Biltmore on the 9th. Body was found on the 15th, so this oh, is yeah. the, the lost yeah. week. Elizabeth Short is a 22-year-old woman from Massachusetts. She, she's one of five girls. The dad walked out on the family when the Depression hit, so the oldest one, Virginia, is raising the rest of the, the younger kids. Late July, early August of 46, Elizabeth Short comes out to Los Angeles. She goes up to Hollywood, and uh, she somehow gets involved with an outfit called the Florentine Gardens. Florentine Gardens is oh, a nightclub up on Hollywood Boulevard. It's still there. Still, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. still call that. It's still, right. it's still called that. Absolutely. It looks like nothing like it. In this, but it was very racy. And she rents a, a room from the guy who's the business manager at the nightclub. What the guy is doing is it's basically his house, and he's renting rooms to various attractive young women, yeah. wannabe starlets or whatever. Yeah. Now, all this time she's in L.A., she's not working. So the question is, where did she get money? She wasn't shy about asking people for money. That's mm. one thing she was not shy about doing. She finally ended up living in a place, it's right up by Musso and Frank, I think it's on Cherokee. Yeah. It was a uh, dollar a day, eight girls on bunk beds, mm. each, each pay a dollar a day. It wasn't by the other. Okay. Yeah. 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 And, she's, yeah. 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 and she's up and down Hollywood Boulevard, yeah. Yeah. getting, getting, uh, getting picked know. up. Uh -huh. You know, uh, yeah. she with no money. And no money? She's not charging money? What she, well, what she's doing is, you know, what she's doing is she's uh, letting these guys spend money on her and then stuffing them, so to speak. You know, thanks for the lovely meal, yada, yada. It'll happen. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's how she got nailed then, huh? That's she, a question. She stiffed, she stiffed the wrong guy. So this is like a justifiable behavior you're describing. Or what? That's how she was existing. Do you think she was hooking? No, I don't. You don't think? I, don't think, I think she was shutting think guys she was, down. You think she was picking up all these guys? I think, she did she have a guy? That's I think a little no. bit of hand no. here, no. a little bit of head there, maybe some went, intercourse and there, yeah. like on and off, shot, yeah. ad hoc, like, according to what was going know, on in the moment. Once. I always thought she was a hooker. Well, yeah. The people think that. People think lots of things. But, 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 and everything you've told me would indicate to me that whether, no offense, whether you believe she's a hooker or not, if she's out there every night 
go in with different guys. And, and I believe, as James said a while ago, that at times, if she could get out of it, you know, obviously she's going to get out of it because she, she can go to the next guy. Right. But there's going to be times when you can't get out of it. Yeah. You know, and, and so then what happens? What do you think happened? Did she have sex with him? I'd really have to reserve judgment on it. I mean, to really be clinical about it, well, I haven't I haven't found any evidence. Well, you never are. You're never going to find is there any evidence. A, is, there an, is, there a, is there a differentiation between did she possibly get killed by a trick or by a boyfriend? She didn't, ha she didn't really have a, a boyfriend, per se. She had she, boyfriends. Yeah. These were, these were like... We're almost back to tricks. We're, well, we're in between well, I'm being tricks, nice. I'm saying tricks boyfriends. And, yeah, exactly. We're between tricks and boyfriends. So what didn't she have? Yeah, see, this is the way we would kick it around today if we had a today, right, we right, right today. We yeah. would kick it, sit around. We'd and beat we her would, up today. And we would say, we would say, come on. You know, her mother would tell us, hey, you know what? She not went out her, every yeah, night her. with a different guy, but she never had sex with him. Right. Because... I know she wouldn't because do it. She said she did. And we'd say, fine. And then we would go on to reality, mm -hmm. okay? And reality tells us that if a girl today or 50 years ago is out on the street, going out, getting in a car, or, or doing whatever she's doing Needs with this guy, mm -hmm. she's doing this for a living, yeah. basically. Going out with different guys every night. I mean, she has no job, right? right? Yeah. This is how she makes her living, right. getting the money from these guys. I guarantee you, there's not too many guys out there before she runs into somebody that's going to say, Hey, I am not giving you five dollars or five hundred dollars or fifty dollars or whatever it is, unless we get it on. Yeah. And then she says no, and he kills her. Boom. She's a dead whore. Yeah. yeah. Right. This one. I've just got to sit in there. Hey. 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 Uh, <laughs> sit down. I have a chair. Why are you limping, Nick? Uh, I pulled a nerve in the leg. Oh Jesus! I'm getting that fixed. And then I had those uh, sixty-year-old age spots removed, so it looks like I got in a fight. Oh, you look about forty now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're making some fucked-up movie about me. These are my policemen and journalist friends, and we're going through an endless fucking recitation on the Black Dahlia murder case. Larry Harnish. Yeah, you but said Larry, you wanted to hear it all. No, Larry. Larry. No, That's Larry has right. probably solved. The Black Dad, your murder case. But Larry is the. We won't yeah, <laughs> these guys are tormenting him. We refuse to let him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because they are empiricists. <laughs> and right these guys, who, have, who are half of them are half lit, are, hey, hey, hey. are interested in deconstructing Larry's theory like and going at it with established terms. police methods, you know, step by step.